All right. Hello, everybody. Today I'm going to show you my AeroPress coffee maker. Now, I start out, I got a glass pot. I start out with water from the Berkey. Always better to start with the cleanest, purest water you can. And so I generally make a mug at a time. So it's not rocket science, right? You fill the mug. I'll put a little extra in just because of evaporation and whatnot. And on the propane. And you gotta catch it, they say just before it boils. So the boiling water will supposedly burn the coffee or something to do with the flavor. I don't even know if that really is true, but that's what I do. I put the press together. I put I like the coffee strong, so I put a good heap and scoop in. I'm using Maxwell House Dark Roast. My wife buys dark roast coffee, whatever's on sale usually. I like it all as long as it's dark roast. Got filters, I think when I bought it. Came with 750 filters. I probably have a little more than half of, half of them left. So I usually generally make one or two cups a day. So I use one or two filters a day. So at that rate, it should last between a year and two years. And I don't know if it's like on Amazon, I think it's like seven, eight bucks for new supply of filters. So that gets put in there. I just gotta wait for the water to heat up. So it looks like it's almost coming to a boil. I hear some activity in the pot. I usually wait until I see a couple little small air bubbles. That should be any second. And now this came with a wide almost like a funnel but it had an octagon head on it probably about that wide that fit in here so if you're using this for camping like you could use a pan I don't use that because I have the coffee pot and uh, it also comes with a I don't know where it is because I don't use that either it comes with a pouch with a drawstring to carry the whole thing in so it's ideal for camping um, this is great for uh, like a bug out bag or um, you know supplies that you're keeping up for prepping if you uh, were ever forced into an off-grid situation you can have the ability to make coffee oh, oh this is getting away from me it's boiling which I'm talking and didn't notice so like then that will um, you know the only energy you need is what you use to heat the water and so we're using propane but of course you could use an electric burner you can use you know a, a fire if you had to um, so because of that, it's pretty versatile. So I'll fill this up about halfway. And then I'll use the stirrer and I'll stir it up pretty vigorously. And I'll fill it the other half of the way. And you can see that nice froth on top. That's the frothy deliciousness we love. Then I will put the cap on and tighten it and now it's got to sit for up to two minutes to, you know, kind of brew the coffee, I guess, or whatever. And so then what we'll do is the instructions say when you dump it in, and when I dump it in here, I got a decent sized mug. It's only going to fill it, you know, a little more than halfway. So in that case, they say just add the water to it. What I do and it's one extra step. I take the filter out and rinse it out. I put the water in here and I reapply the filter and the second run through I don't wait. I just run it right through and that picks up any coffee flavor still left in the grounds. I just figure that's better than adding just straight water. In my case the coffee can never be too strong. So I like strong coffee so that's just what I do. It didn't say to do that in the instructions. I just just made sense to me to do it that way. So, we're going to let this sit another minute and we can pause it. Alright, so now it's sat a couple minutes. Now, this is always two-handed. I, I attempted to do it one-handed um, video of myself the other day, but it didn't work. Because the mug, the rim is wide and so this just barely fits on it. So, I have to hold it with my hand. That's why it takes two hands. I press this down slowly. 
probably hear the coffee going through. Now if you press it too fast, coffee will leak out the vents and get on the counter. My beautiful wife frowns on that, so I try not to do that. Especially since she's filming. She's got her scrutinizing eye on me every moment. But I love her. She's awesome. So, you run this through. And you can hear it press the air out at the end. What I'll do is I'll just retract the cylinder back. It's kind of almost like a big syringe, right? And fish the ground out. Filter out. I think the reason why they don't recommend doing this is because unless you're really careful with the way you fish the filter out, you can get grounds to run past it and into the mug, which that really doesn't bother me, so I do it. And then we'll just flip this one right over and run it through again. That's it. And there we go. We got a nice, delicious mug of coffee. I can smell it. It's awesome. Now, to clean this out, it's pretty easy. Unscrew the top. Plunge the plunger through. Everything goes in the garbage. Rinse it. And it's good to go for next time. So this here, as I said, with the case, uh, the pouch, which I don't, I don't have out, I don't know where it is, and the funnel thing, which I don't use, was $29 or $30. I think the replacements on this is 7 roughly, for $750. So um, even if you have two cups a day, that's at least a year. That's a year supply. So, um, yeah, works out good. Again, camping, prepping, off-grid. You know, we do ours with propane. You can do it on a wood stove. You can do it on an open fire. Um, any way you want. So, it's uh, an awesome add-on or inclusion in any um, prepping kit or supply bundle. Bug out bag, etc. Camping, whatever. So, I just wanted to show it to you. Um, of course, I don't work for... AeroPress, I don't make any money, I just, I have it, I use it, I love it, the coffee comes out good, and so I just wanted to show it to you. So thanks for watching, have a great day everybody, God bless you.